In version dog demo step one, we looked at how you can open a project from the version dog project tree, edit it, create a new version, and check it in. It was a very simple example that we only needed Notepad as an editor, just for the sake of a demonstration. But basically it's the same process whatever the project. So the programming projects for an entire automated facility can be managed using the same workflow in the same software. All the projects are centralized, all changes are documented. You check out, edit, download to the device, create a version, check it in, and now it's available to everyone, provided they have the rights. Now, this is the project tree of the demo version. We've put it together like this to give you a range of different projects to experiment with. In real life, your project tree might look more like this. But back to the demo version for now. Okay, so when a user makes changes to a project, they should document those changes with proper notes. But we all know that sometimes things that should be done aren't done. And with version dog, even if a user doesn't write good notes, you can still see who, change what, where, when, and why. Hmm. Well, the why does require a little bit of input from the user, but you can set version dog to make that mandatory. Hmm. Change request one five four eight. That's better. The system has built in organization and discipline. Now, if you want to try comparing project versions yourself in the demo version, let's just look at how that works, but a little slower this time. Now, if you don't have any editors, you can use the GE Prophecy Machine Edition project because it's one of those that doesn't need an editor to be installed in order to see a graphical comparison. Now, this is one of the very clever things that Version Dog does. It shows you the changes in a familiar visual form. Here's a project for which you do need an editor to make comparisons. And this client does happen to have TIA Portal installed. But it doesn't need to open the editor for you to see the changes. Again, it's one workflow, one organizational process, one central location to manage all your projects and track changes. And you can be sure that the changes are recorded here. And you can be sure that this is the latest version. So I would encourage you now to use the demo version and to try a few things out for yourself. There are other clever things and very useful things that Version Dog does, especially in tracking changes to online projects, that is, programs running on devices. So you can be certain that the running program really is the latest version. More about that later.